Hey guys, so I got requested to do a packet video, so I'm just going to jump right in and get started. Um, I really haven't counted them out, to be honest with you. I just kind of have a lot, just because a lot of times when I order lotion off eBay and such, um, they will throw in like an extra packet or something like that, and there are a few websites where if you directly ask them a question about something, they'll like offer to throw in a few packets for you, that way they're kind of trying to like encourage you to order from them. Uh, but yeah, um, I have a few different brands. I kind of organize them by the different brands I have. That way it just kind of is a little bit easier. Um, there are a couple where I have used um, the actual bottle of lotion. And then there's some that I haven't tried yet because I'm getting a new bottle in like a month or so. And so I'm going to use the packet then decide if I want to buy it or not. Um, first brand is Caribbean Gold Shears. Um, this is what it looks like. It's called Heartthrob. I really haven't used anything by this brand. I think it got discontinued. Um, I think it was made by Australian Gold. It's from the same company, I know that, but I just, I don't know, I haven't really heard anything about this brand, but I don't know, it looked kind of cheap in my opinion, so that's probably why I didn't do so well. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> I have a cold right now. Uh, my next brand I got is Pro Tan. I have two packs of lotion. I have Hottie Toddy and Wicked Blue. Um, Hottie Toddy is a tingle. Yeah, I love tingles, so I'm really excited to use this actually. And then this one's actually a cooling bronzer. I've used a uh, cooling bronzer in the past. I used Escapade from Designer Skin and that didn't really do anything for me. I didn't really feel a cooling sensation. I mean, I didn't get as hot in the bed as I usually do, but it just, I don't know, I didn't feel like I got like enough results to justifying uh, purchasing that lotion specifically. But I actually get a lot more lotion in these two than I do in like some of the more expensive ones because I get like three-fourths of an ounce in here. And these were both like free. No, I paid $3 for this at Plato's Closet. I actually found this one. And this one came free with my last lotion order when I ordered another Pro Tan lotion. Um, I've used a couple lotions from them, but a lot of the salons I tan at, they don't carry it. So it's kind of it's kind of hard to find because my main salon only carries... um like designer skin and um, Swedish beauty and like a few others but it's just kinda hard to find um, my next one is the cypher moisturizer it's from California tan I used to pack it before and I did like it it's got like a lime scent to it it works really well I did like it but it's like the entire bottle is like forty five dollars it's like forty dollars and I'm like uh, I, I can't spend forty dollars on you I'm sorry and then I think I got this packet for three so I was like, okay, for three bucks, I'll buy it. And then, which other brands do I have? Murphy. Murphy. <laughs> um, this one's from Fiesta Sun. It's called Sun Tricks. Yeah, it's, let me see if I can get to focus. There we go. Um, I haven't really used it. I guess it's just a... Are you a bronzer? I don't, I don't think it's a bronzer. I think it's just um, an accelerator, but I have used a bottle from Guess the Sun. It was called Peach Paradise, and I had okay results with it. Um, I just ordered it because I went through like this phase where I love peach scented products, so I was like, oh, peach lotion, I have to buy it, but I'm pretty excited to use this just because I have so many packets. Like, if you saw one of my other videos where I just had like all those bottles of lotion, I actually made it my New Year's resolution to not buy any more until I was completely out. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to use up these bottles. I'm down to two. I'm really proud of myself. And um, yeah, I have so many packets. It's not even funny. <laughs> Let's see. And then my next brand is Australian Gold. Um, I have Reefer Madness. I haven't used this yet. Some of these actually got in, like a multi-pack where... Um, like, I ordered just, like, a bunch of, like, different lotion packets so I could, like, try them. That way, when I buy my next bottle, I'm not going to be disappointed. And then there's New to Winkening from Australian Gold. I heard this one's really good. I used a similar one from this called Liquid Assets, and I loved it. Um, I don't know what happened to the packaging. I think it got, like, scrunched up. But I'm still going to use it anyway, because why not? <laughs> and then Sex Magnet. It's a fifth dimension bronzer. I this might be discontinued. I'm not sure. This one's Gilded from Australian Gold. Um, this is part of like their really high-end line. I can't remember the name of it, but 
it's like the most expensive lotion um, Australian Golds makes. And I think I got this for free, maybe? I think I did get this for free, yeah. With lotion training last year. I got one of them for free, but I don't know. It's like really high end, so I figure I'll try the package, see if that's what I want to order next time. And then I just have hot from Australian Gold. Um, I think it's just a bronzer. Uh, yeah, it is just a bronzer. Um, it's fourth dimension bronzers. We used to sell this at the salon I used to work at, so it's gotta be okay. And then the last one from Australian Gold is Ramp It Up, and it's like a quick dry intensifier. I think this one was also discontinued, but Australian Gold, I've had decent luck with their lotions, and they're not like super, super expensive, which that's always good, but they're not like so cheap you get no results for them. And then my next year from Devoted Creations. I actually haven't used a Devoted Creations lotion before. I think I used like a Poly D packet one time, so I got it for free. <laughs> but um, the two I have, I have Crazy Sexy Beautiful. This one's a cooling bronzer. I've actually been debating buying one of these lotions for my next one. I just, I don't really know anyone that uses it, because usually when I buy lotion, like there are a few people I will talk to where I'm like, oh, have you tried this? Blah, blah, blah. But no one I really know uses this particular one. And, oh, it's got a tattoo protector in it. All right. <laughs> so I've been thinking about getting a tattoo, so this would be a good one. And then the other one is Camo Queen from Devoted Creations. I got this on sale because a salon in my era is going out of business, so they, like, clearance all their packets. like $2 just because they're trying to sell everything in stock. But, oh, I guess this one. Coffee extract? Right on. All right. And... Oh yeah, this one's got tattoo protected in too. Not bad. So yeah. I don't know. The only reason I haven't tried just because the salon I worked at didn't have it and like we actually weren't allowed to use lotions that they didn't sell on the beds because they ruined the acrylic. Like including Snooky, which I thought was like kind of funny, but I don't know. I've been debating getting a Snooky lotion. I really like JWoww, but I don't know. I've been like debating it. If I could like find it cheap maybe on like Amazon, I'd give it a try. And then, I only have two more brands left, I promise. Um, I have Berry Beautiful, from, this is Swedish Beauty by the way, um, Berry Beautiful, it's a botanical one. I think it got discontinued this year, so I've been debating getting one online um, after I use this packet, I'll see I like it. I have Take All of Me, which I actually used a bottle of it. It was okay, I didn't really like the smell to be honest with you, but I mean it was decent. Um, and then there's Grapeful. And there's Honey Bee Bronze, which is actually a facial lotion. I might use that next time I tan. I haven't really decided yet. Just because, like, I barely use the facial lotion I have now. So I don't, I can't really justify buying one. And then there's Aloe there, which is a really dark bronzer. Not a big fan of the smell of it, to be honest with you. And then Steal the Limelight. I just went through a bottle of this. It was okay, but I don't know. I'm not going to go out of my way to buy it again. And then I just have two packets of Dangerously Darker from Swedish Beauty, and these have coolants in them. I think they're discontinued because the salon I worked at, we would have like multi like pack bags that you could buy of packets. And so my boyfriend and I went in on one one time because there was some I wanted to try, so he and I just like went halfsies on it. And then I took a few and he took some. And then last one is Designer Skin, my favorite. Um, there's Juicy Desire, which is supposed to be like fresh pressed. I think it's a juice base. I don't know, but I've heard good things about it. And then I have two packets of Something Fierce, which is a natural bronzer. Um, the scent of it is actually the same as um, Pretty and Reckless from Designer Skin, which was my favorite intensifier, but I heard it got discontinued. I'm really upset about that. It was my favorite, but... I don't know, I'm hoping that one's going to at least work okay enough that I can justify the fact that I paid for packets. And then I have two packets of Bombshell. I haven't used it yet, but I've used Modern Bombshell and that didn't really do much for me. And I'm currently using the JWoww Tingle, so this isn't going to be anything drastic for me. But I've been debating buying a bottle anyway, so I figure I'll use the packets, see how I like it. And if I do, I might purchase one. And then there's Modern Bombshell. Um, I actually had a bottle of this one, and it wasn't bad, but after a while, my skin got so used to tingles that just nothing faced me anymore, so I'm like, I don't even know I'm using this. Um, there's 
Coco de Vil, and this is, I think, is one of like, the flavored ones, but I'm like, whatever, I think I might use it at some point, and then Black Legacy, which is actually the lotion I'm pretty much sure I'm going to be buying next time, um, just a 35X bronzer, and I found it on Amazon, but I haven't decided fully where I'm going to be purchasing it, um, and then I have 14 Karat Gold Rush. I've heard okay things about it, but I also know one girl that used to work with me that said it turned her orange, so I'm not really sure. And then last two, I have Conceited. Um, I had a bottle list, but I think it was expired when I bought it because I bought it online. Go me. And um, it was okay, but I think since I bought this from a salon, I'll have better luck with this one. And then lastly, I have Pumped from Designer Skin. Um, I've heard really good things about this one, but... I'm not really 100% sure because this is good in the high pressure beds and I use like a level 2 right now because I do um, the thing where it takes it out of my account every single month. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching and if you have more video requests, let me know. Thanks. Bye.